Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at Lee Summit North, home of the Broncos. We're at their preseason practice. Who do we have here? It's Cortez Groves. Hey, hey Coach, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I played at Raytown. Um, grew up in Kansas City, Missouri, played at Raytown. After Raytown, I went to Moberly, played basketball there, was an okay player. Went to Kansas State after that, and then after Kansas State, I uh, didn't make the NBA it was supposed to go. Uh, didn't put enough work, I like to tell the kids, but uh, you know, had a good career overseas. I played 14 years and uh, decided to retire. What, and, uh, what, what teams did you play for overseas? Oh man, a lot. Uh, I'll tell you the countries, you know, the teams. Are, right, that's not, what I'm saying, the countries. I played in Argentina, I played in, um, what's that, uh, France for a year, two years actually, and then I played in Australia the rest of the year. So I, I fell in love with Australia and I stayed over there. Stayed over there. Uh, What's the difference in uh, playing pro at that level and playing pro in the NBA? Is there a whole lot of difference or what, what's uh, what? I really can't say, but from hearing from some from of what you see. Yeah, from what yeah. I see, uh, you know, it's a little bit faster, only because we don't play as many games. But uh, it's still like a job, you know, that's what you do. You eat and sleep basketball, you have to show up to work and be prepared. And, you know, stay on task, you can't get behind. So how'd you get out here at Lee Summit North, home of the Broncos? Uh, my stepson's playing here. We just talked about that, um, and I've been helping out the program. Tell, tell our audience who your stepson uh, is. Elijah Farr. Elijah Farr is a sophomore. He's about 6'6 six, six now, and uh, he's, he's one to watch for. Oh, it's no doubt. I told him uh, off camera, Coach said that he's a D1. He's oh, a yeah. D1, definitely. Yeah, he's got a few offers already. I don't know if he told you about yeah, that, I, but I he, told him that, you know. Yeah, he, 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 gave, he gave me a couple of uh, Sterling D1 schools that are looking at him, and as I said to you off camera, I think he's a D1, uh, not, j not just from an athletic standpoint, I think he has his head straight. And when I talked to him about academics, he really was on point about basketball versus academics. And uh, he said that he had a whole lot of respect for you and uh, what you? What do you think you bring to this program? Because he told me what you brought to the program. I think I bring attention to detail. I'm real big on all the little bitty things, the proper footwork, you know, way to shoot the basketball, even having rotation, you know, getting your hand off, all the little things, and then also show them how, you know, how we work overseas that bring it to the the high school game, and it, it, it's a challenge for me. So I'm up for the challenge, and uh, you know, I'm here. Yeah, uh, it's my understanding that. Uh, Every last one of your players, one of the main emphasis they talked about was the teamwork and they felt really good about their teammates and that you were, uh, the team was gelling. How, how did all of that come about? Uh, you know what? I can't always take all the credit, but you know, one thing when I got here, I tried to instill in them that there's no I in basketball. I know you heard that before, but also be happy for the next person. Let's do individual drills and let's see who is the best. I'm not saying you can't do that too, but if he's the best, let's be happy for him. Let's let him do things in this situation and then in other situations, I can do things. So, and they're trying to be happy for each other. It's still not all the way there yet. We've only been going for about two months, but uh, it's looking good so far. Tell me, what was the gentleman that just left? Zach. Zach. I asked Zach that and see you, now I see where he possibly gets it from. I said, Zach, how do you keep your head in the game when you're on the bench and they're on the floor? We all know what the bench feels like. How do you keep, you know what he, he, he said, not only does he keep his head in the game, he tries to keep his teammates. And that's what you just. He does, man. You know, that's one of the reasons we kept him on the team, too. You know, besides his skill work that he brings to the table, but he's a great leader. You know, I'm, I'm constantly on him time and time again. So the kids don't just hear the coaches yelling or whatever, or even good right. things. You know, but he's, he's, he's been a great help for us. Do, do you think that is permeating through uh, the rest of the players? I do. I do. I think it's going to take some time. You know, some people need to understand, like I said before. Some people are just better at certain things. But that don't mean don't do them, but let's just work on them harder. If that's something you want to do, work on them harder. But at the time, if you're not really ready, let's let this person shine, you know. Well, let's do this. Let's try to compliment them. So, so you say you're a Kansas City, and how you like them Royals? I love it. I love it, baby. I love it. You know, I don't yeah. wear too much blue, you know. I'm, I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm from New York. 
and I was with the Yankees yeah. and the Mets and the Jets and the Giants. And after every game, I was getting them phone calls. <laughs> they, KC, they was giving me, they was giving me the business, man. And, but you know, after New York, I'm all KC. I've been here thirty something years. I'm all KC. Uh, so you looking forward this season? I'm really looking forward to this season, man. Like I said, I'm thankful for the opportunity Coach Hilbert had given me, and uh, you know, hopefully we can win more games than last year. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of guy is Mike? I've been knowing Mike for probably 12, 13 years. You know what? In the beginning, you know, we didn't have too much communication, but now that I'm here, you know, part of the program, he's he's down to earth. He's laid back. You know, he is an easygoing guy, and uh, you just got to get to know him to, to understand him. Mike, Mike, Mike is a real guy. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I met him and he's one of the real coaches. I have a whole lot of respect for him and he knows how to build winners. Uh, Lee Summit has got a history of winning mm -hmm. and hopefully you're contributing and y'all can get back on on track. Uh, Thank you. Would you like to give a shout out? Uh, shout out to Lee Summit North. <laughs> oh, coach is shouting out to the team. Uh, we look forward to uh, covering a couple of more of your games. Uh, look forward to having you back on the show. Most likely uh, when y'all get ready to make your run for the playoffs. But a lot of times we do come out doing the holiday tournaments. Okay. Uh, we have our eye on you. Pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for having me. All right. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.